James Milan is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for this video about this Portuguese rosé. I have featured Portuguese wines before, but this is another first, so I'll put a symbol up right here, another first, for a uh, review of a Portuguese rosé. It's a fantastic, uh, beautiful wine here, and a uh, well-known producer. So for me, I think this is a really great way of thinking about this uh, category I fell in love with, because ultimately, I was tasting a lot of port wines, and uh, that's a great thing, no doubt about it, but ultimately, it's a whole category, categories, that are forgotten about unless we uh, really delve further. Now, the wines of Portugal tastings have been fantastic. I've gone through and really have uh, tasted so many beautiful wines that don't get the, the, you know, the, the attention that I think they should. And I think that's the, the high point of, of this video is to really give that through, think about these wines differently, and uh, to really think about them in terms of uh, everyday uh, use wines, not just, uh, not that port wines are not usable on a daily basis, you can, and definitely after the uh, finish of a meal, you don't drink a lot of it, you just want to use it as a digestif. So here we go with this wine, proper introduction. This is from the producer Herdad de Esparao, and this is called De Fesa, and this is a 2012 vintage rosé, so it's 50% Aragonés and 50% Syrah. Uh, Aragonés is Tempranillo, and I uh, love the texture to the label here really well done. So they have a number of series uh, of labels in terms of uh, Herida de Esperao, 13.5% uh, ABV. This is coming from uh, Savino Regional Alentejano, and uh, it's a gorgeous wine. This is, first of all, the coloration on this really uh, took me back. Uh, this is really a cathedral stained glass, or what I like to call Saint-Chapelle uh, stained glass window, that my favorite building in Paris. Uh, really gorgeous, uh, evocative uh, coloration here. And uh, equally fitting is the scent and flavor characteristics as well. So first, we're going to do the scent characteristics, flavor profile, and then the point score. So on this, I'm getting really beautiful fresh notes of wild strawberry, raspberry, cinnamon, mineral, and a hint of uh, fresh sandalwood. So here we go, take a taste and get some flavor notes as well. Mm. Beautiful characteristics of fresh wild strawberry, graphite, Mexican cinnamon, red tea, and rose petal. I give this wine a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. Now you can think of that as 92 points out of 100 points. And um, you know, I think you know, seek wines like this. I think it's really important because you can try rosés uh, from around the world, but I think these are a little more difficult to find. You might have to ask your wine merchant, please bring in some Portuguese uh, rosé wines. And this is one you could ask for by name. Uh, fantastic high quality wine producer from Portugal and there is a difference it's fantastically beautiful with a variety of foods so I'm gonna serve this uh, I think tonight with uh, meatballs and uh, tomato sauce so I look forward to that and pairing these two together so thank you so much for watching stay with me on this great journey of wine uh, we live in the best of wine times and you know I never thought I'd see the day where we'd be having wines regularly from uh, Portugal or Greece or Croatia uh, obviously California Australia New Zealand Uruguay and uh, Peru and Republic of Georgia and the list goes on and on. We do live in a remarkable wine time, so stay tuned for this great journey. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. If you like this video review, please give a like right here. Questions, comments, and your favorite Portuguese wines, as well as your favorite rosés, please list those down below. And subscribe to my wine channel here on YouTube. Thank you so much. And on most social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, and Pinterest. Salud.